Guys, how are we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. I'm asked all the time, what should I add on to my tractor? What do you recommend? What should I include? You know, what's available for these tractors? The 1025R we're going to be talking about today, all the add-ons, the attachments, and the accessories. Everything you can get, you don't necessarily need. Some folks are going to have to have it, others couldn't care less. So whether you want to trick your tractor out or just equip it for work, stay tuned because I've got the best of the best, all the good stuff, none of the rest. But hold on, just because you don't have a green 1025R doesn't mean this video isn't for you. Pretty much everything you see here is going to come in a different size, a different color, a different attachment style. I'm guessing there's something here that's going to catch your eye. If you would take just a second, hit that like button right down below. And if you want to see more cool tractor videos, hit subscribe to follow along. As always, read through that description right down below underneath the video, all sorts of helpful links. Everything you see in this video will be down there, okay? Or head over to goodworkstractors.com. We're gonna go from cheapest to most expensive or something similar along those lines. I'm not gonna promise you every single thing is gonna be in sequential order, but I am gonna save my favorite for last, so stick around for that. All right, guys, so first thing up here is a knob spinner, suicide spinner steering wheel knob <laughs> you hear it called all sorts of stuff really cheap item here this is going to be one of those universal items for not just a 1025r but any machine out there i love them even with power steering really helps you make tight fast turns especially if you have to navigate a lot so these are just a pvc test plug but all you do is you just tighten it down you don't want to tighten it down until you put it inside the tube for 10 20 bucks something like that you can actually find more usable space on your tractor which really is at a premium so I'm going to put links below if you do want to get these on Amazon. If you don't have the hardware store that has these right around the corner, just look below in the description. You'll find the information. Next up, not moving too far away, are going to be mirrors like what you see here. These are really cool. You don't need to mount them on these brackets that are behind the mirror. You can, though. It's a nice add-on. We'll get to that. If you have a 1025R or a lot of the John Deere loaders that have a little hole right in the top of the, the vertical loader arm, you'll be able to hook the mirrors right to it. At first glance, you probably think these are great if you have to travel down roads, but believe it or not, I've actually used these a lot just to see behind me when I'm tilling, when I'm throwing down seed, if I'm dethatching, doing any other projects in my yard or in the field. Really nice to not have to turn around to get an idea of what's going on. You can just look in the mirror. Next up, let's talk about lights, converting those halogens to a nice, bright, clean uh, white light with LEDs. Very cheap to do with both the headlights and the fender lights on any applicable tractor. Not every model is going to have those, but a very easy upgrade. Just pop your hood open. You're going to take out the old halogen, which you just pop off the dust cover here. Sometimes you can pull it right out. Other times you'll have a little spring bracket that you just kind of squeeze and then put it back in. This is your bulb right here. You're simply going to pull it apart at the base. You're going to see the three prongs that you have. So it's a very easy operation. Just unplug the old bulbs. The new one can only go on one way. Now pay attention to your model here. I'll have to put a link for a video all about uh, these light bulbs as they change depending on the model year of your 1025R. There could be two different styles. So follow the link to that video. Make sure you get the right bulbs. Next up here, take a look at this seat cover. Yeah, mine's kind of dirty, but it's doing what it's supposed to do is protect the expensive seat underneath. These are around, I don't know, give or take $40, plus or minus a little bit. But if you had to replace this entire seat, it is going to be hundreds of dollars, all right? So do yourself a favor. There's a link right now uh, to Amazon where you can buy these. Sometimes they're out of stock, but they come in and out of stock depending on how many are sold. Next up here, take a look. This is the big tool rack, ROPS rack. It's a, a nice kind of sneaky way almost to get some extra storage space, but you've got these uh, ties right here. You've got little loops and hooks to attach things to. If you want to even put a shovel, a rake, something across here, it's, it's really inexpensive for what it is. So it's an easy way. You get 5% off with code GWT if you order anything from big tool rack. Suitcase weights, these green hunks of steel right here. Believe it or not, these are some of the most important things you can buy for your tractor. Whether you want them on the back or the front, having that proper balance with your machine is a big safety issue. Now on the front side, you can actually hang the suitcase weights right on the front frame of the tractor itself. No extra weight bracket is necessarily needed. At least I'm using weights without a weight bracket. They'll work fine with your loader. Check out other videos I've done so you can see those weights are mounted on the front while I'm using the loader too. 
Now, if you're gonna use them on the back, you need to have something else, like this green piece of steel, to hang them on, a weight bracket for the back. It'll mount to your three-point hitch. It's gonna add additional weight as well, but it's gonna cost a little bit more money that way. You can get these from a couple different places. Heavy Hitch is a great place to get some American-made products. You get 5% off with code GWT. If you're looking for a cheaper alternative, I do have links below to where you can get these from Titan as well. However, keep in mind that while a suitcase weight is cheap, if you're just buying one, or relatively cheap, Normally, you're going to see six or eight suitcase weights, sometimes even more than that. To help keep the cost down, if you're ordering something else from me, these are a great item that I can kind of pack away or tuck away somewhere on the same skid. It's really going to help save shipping costs that way. Something cool a lot of you guys like is going to be a locking rear differential pedal cover. So the normal little silver knob that's hanging out on there is kind of easy to miss if you're not careful. So there's some companies out there that make like a little pedal that just goes right on top of it, pretty slick. Now mine was actually made by somebody who watches my YouTube channel, so thank you Jackster for that. However, you can get one that's ready for production from Bolt-On Hooks. Go to their website, they're gonna have one of these pedals there for you. Bolt-On Hooks has some other great products as well, including Bolt-On Hooks. You can also get a weld-on version, but they're really popular, pretty inexpensive as well. I don't have a business relationship with Bolt-On Hooks, so there's no discount code like that, but maybe if enough of you mention it, we could get there someday. Next up, we've got a small company, but very innovative with a lot of cool products that'll fit the 1025R and other models too. The great news is you get 5% off of code GWT at MUDS Customs, all right? Link down below. You're gonna have some great options like grab handles to help you getting on and off your machine. If you do wanna get your mirrors somewhere up higher or maybe kind of out further so you can see better back behind you, great option as well. You're gonna have front, middle, and rear tie down points available for safe traveling, safe towing. There's not really good areas to tie down on these tractors for some reason. And then even a step to help climb up. Oh, and I can't forget they also make custom backhoe buckets. If you're looking for a ripper tooth or a ripper bucket or a big Y bucket, all sorts of stuff available, not just for the 1025R backhoe, but for all John Deere backhoes out there. Muds Customs, just a small custom fab shop in the Midwest. Go ahead and support them. You get 5% off doing it as well. Next up is a saw hull, all right? It just kind of bolts on, not like into any existing hole, but bolts around just the arm on your loader. For a John Deere, a Kubota, this thing is, is pretty universal, but it's very nice to be able to carry your chainsaw with you instead of having to throw it in the bucket or finagle some other way to bring it along. A nice, easy, out of the way place. You get this on Amazon, link down below. Next up here, the Lube Shuttle greasing system and innovation in greasing. It's pretty cool. It's not gonna be a mess. It's gonna self prime. It's not gonna leak. It's just an easy system to use. You have the traditional pistol grip uh, style right here. For those of you that maybe have arthritis or a lot of greasing, this electric grease gun is pretty darn awesome. This is a no mess system, very robustly built, I guess is a good way to put it. You have this metal shield here, but the grease cartridges, they just screw in and they screw out. Very easy to use, it's self priming. You can see, there we go. Just like that, you screw a new cartridge back in. If you need to, you can switch grease. It takes about two pumps or so to get the old grease through the hose, but you have a bottom right here you can push up just to prime, get the air out of the system. Great product, good for easy protection for your tractor and all your other equipment as well. 5% off with code GWT. If you're looking for a cheap solution to maybe protect your bucket edge and also help with snow removal, the Edge Tamer could be a good solution for you. Typically you'll see maybe two of these, one on each corner of your bucket on a 1025R, but if you get one of these for a larger tractor, Sometimes you're going to want to add a middle one as well. The R2 Manufacturing Edge Tamer. Next up here, one of my personal favorites, but not my favorite favorite, that's coming last, is the Spico E-Hitch Quick Hitch, all right? It's the only one out there that doesn't use bushings. So you see your Category 1 pin that's right here? It's actually made to accept a Category 1 pin. There's no need to put the bushings or the sleeve on top to upsize to a Category 2 or a Category 3. That's an extra expense you just don't need to pay for. I've done a video comparing the Spico against the iMatch, the Land Pride, everything else on the market. Again, it's just as good a quality. It weighs just about as much as any of the quick hitches out there, so it means it has the most steel in it. Nice, big, strong gussets right here as well. Spico quick hitch, we can ship this to you anywhere in the country. Another one of my personal favorites, the dual wheel setup that's on my 1025R. You're gonna have to get a dual adapter kit, just the, the kit itself for the spacer and the hardware to attach the two wheels. And then you have to get an extra set of rear wheels and tires to go along with it. 
Now, fair warning, you know, putting an additional set of tires and wheels on the outside of your um, existing setup or even adding wheel spacers could potentially shorten the axle life, but it's up to you to operate safely. So if you're looking for more stability because you're on hilly terrain, something like this dual wheel setup could be a real lifesaver. This is what I'm pleased to announce. You get 5% off with code GWT at MillerTire.com on the spacers, the wheels, and the tires. I do want to tell you more about this tire. It's the Carlisle VersaTurf. It's a hybrid tread pattern. I've had these on my machine for just about a year, give or take right now. Um, really love them. They're still going to be safe on lawn, but they're going to be a lot better on snow and ice. You're going to maintain a lot better traction, which pushing or plowing snow is all about traction. I've had these out in the woods. Every application I can think of, they've excelled at. Uh, even recently, I was out using an attachment out of my daycare, and you can see it was really sloppy conditions out there. And that was, I don't know, a week and a half ago, two weeks. These things were completely clean, just like what you see here. So very good self-cleaning and mud and just kind of nasty situations. You know, a great way to enhance the versatility of your bucket is to use something like a tooth bar. It's going to be a lot more aggressive in digging capabilities if you're struggling to maybe dig into piles of dirt or stone um, or even mulch. It can just help penetrate and grab what you need a lot easier. This product, this tooth bar in particular, does not require you to drill any other holes into your bucket. It's got seven Allens that you just tighten down and clamp on. I have actually never had to re-tighten this since it's been on. It stays in place. It's there whenever I need it, but it is easy enough to take back off if you don't want it. This is the same company that makes one of those weight brackets I was telling you about earlier, heavyhitch.com. You get 5% off on anything there with code GWT. I love products that meet the trifecta. For me, that's gonna be price, quality, and features. The Rhino Hide Canopy is all the above. It's very durable. You can stand on it if you want to, but really it's designed to keep you out of the sun. It's got some great features going on. So first of all, it's gonna be lightweight, easy enough to pick up, and move around so if you need to take it on and off because you're going to be traveling with it or if you maybe have uh, low overhead clearance so you got to take it off just to get inside your storage area this is something you can move around with one hand all right also the other downside of most canopies they're going to be very fragile so to speak whether it's fiberglass or steel you know if you hit a tree you hit a limb which is going to happen with a canopy you're going to damage it it's almost like a bed lining material it's very strong very durable Don, uh, the, the owner and the manufacturer of this right here, he does all sorts of crazy tests with it. He hits it with a hammer, he shoots it with a 20 gauge, he drives over it, he just beats it up just to show you how tough it is. Another great product here, you can get 5% off using code GWT. Here we have the Summit Diverter Kit. This gives you the ability to run a lot of additional attachments on the front of the back of your tractor. This is an inexpensive DIY solution for you to be able to open and close a grapple, angle a hydraulic loader plow blade, rotate a snowblower chute, add on a top or a tilt kit. Gives you a lot of different versatility to run some attachments at a very affordable price. Summit Hydraulics, 5% off with code GWT. Now we're going to get into the category of attachments for the front end and for the back end as well. So these are going to be somewhat all over the place, you know, maybe five, six hundred bucks on up to could even be a couple thousand dollars or more. We're going to lump them all together and go through the attachment section on my website. If we take a look through the tractor attachments category, you're going to see first my very favorite. That's my own design right there, the mini stump bucket designed for smaller tractors like the 1025R and small compacts as well. You could have a skid steer quick attach or a giant deer quick attach, but that is my overall favorite attachment right there and partly because I have a, uh, a key role in this development. Next up, you will see lawn rollers. These are just going to mount right to a rear receiver or a hitch of some kind on the back of your tractor, available in 48, 60, and 72 inch uh, widths. Next up, you'll see a couple of offerings by MK Martin. You're going to have your traditional rear grader blade as well as the MK Martin box blade. These are going to be available typically in your four, five, six, seven foot variants. What you see next, this red item, is going to be a Del Marino offset flail mower. Now, I just started using flail mowers last fall, and it's quickly climbing the list of my favorite attachments. Very good. I'd encourage you to check out those videos. A good replacement for a brush hog and potentially even a finish mower. This one here is the Tar River No-Till Seed Drill. That's an option. There's also a cheaper version yet, 
That's the DRL series that you are going to have to prep the ground by disking or tilling. If you hate connecting PTO shafts, this Ag Spray 3-point electric spreader is great for grass seed, for fertilizers, other soil amendments as well, but I used this uh, all of last year, made several videos on it, so check those out if you want to see it in action, but it's got an adjustable gate, um, a variable speed control so you can control the width of spread, a really cool product. Now we're onto that TRL DRL series seeder. This is the one that does require you to uh, till the ground or disc it first, but you can see the price point on that. That is about as competitive of a price as you get. Onto the MK Martin rotary cutter, you're not going to want to go any larger than a 48 inch cutter on a 1025R. We have the Wallenstein BX36S wood chipper. I had a little bit of video on this last year, check it out, but this is the right size. It'll work very well on the 1025R. Forgot all about this one, the three point to Thatcher. So this is not a landscape rake. It's not a pine star rake. It's even lighter than that. So this is meant to just kind of scuff the ground, collect debris, do some dethatching of course, but it's about 50 pounds for a 60 inch, which is the size I recommend. What you see here, the material collection system by Protero. This is a PTO driven and dump from the seat option. This is an item you get 5% off with code GWT. You buy from Protero. Check out the videos, I did several of them last fall. Really cool setup for a 1025R. The Rhino Rebel Tiller here is a great option for larger tractors. They actually don't make this series in a 48 inch, so I'm gonna rule it out for the subcompacts. If you have a larger tractor, check out the videos I did. It's a very well-built piece of equipment. The Tar River Land Leveler, very popular when I can get my hands on it. I've got about 60 of these units coming this spring. One of the best price points on the market. 48 inches the size that I would recommend for a 1025R. You could potentially do a 60 inch uh, that will be wider than the machine. One of the key things to note about these land planes or land levelers is they come with those ripper shanks on them. A lot in this price range don't include those. If you're in the market for pallet forks, you gotta check out these HLA ultralight forks. These are very lightweight, around 190, 200 pounds, about as light as what's on the market, maybe some of the cheapest as well. So that's a great combination. Been selling these for years, a great item to ship. Pack this with some weights or some other small items, maybe a Spico quick hitch. You really kind of spread out the freight cost. A really good deal right there. On to some WorkSaver grapples. The WorkSaver electric grapple is an all-in-one solution. If you don't have and don't want to add additional hydraulics to your tractor, size very well, very lightweight. It also comes in a skid steer quick attach version as well for you Kubota, Mahindra, Coyote owners, and all the others. WorkSaver also makes a hydraulic version of that same mini grapple. So if you do have the additional hydraulics on your tractor or you want to add on that kit by Summit, you can get a hydraulic mini grapple. These things work great, just like the electric. They're a very versatile grapple and really well suited to the 1025R. Now the simplest of all is going to be the brush crusher and the cheapest solution as well. No additional electric or hydraulic connections required. You just have to have a quick attach bucket, whether it's John Deere or Skid Steer. Now, if you have large acreage or the right application, or maybe you want to use it commercially or as a side hobby or business, the Sweep All Lawn Sweeper is going to be a lawn sweeper on steroids. It's PTO driven. You can also get a Honda powered uh, version of this as well. But for you guys that have a 1025R or something similar, I would encourage you to check it out if you're in one of those kind of niche markets. It's very expensive. I'm not going to lie. It's an expensive piece of equipment, and that's kind of why I say it's geared towards certain sectors. But you get 5% off with code GW. I can help you out, get your order placed, and we can ship it to you. Let's talk about some snow removal equipment. You can get MK Martin three-point mounted snow blowers, both the traditional style where you back up and a pull type where you actually drive forward over the snow. You're going to want to be somewhere in the 54 to 60 inch range with one of those. A Tar River loader mounted snow plow. You can get them with a manual angle or hydraulic angle. The 60 inch is the size I would recommend. As far as snow pushers go, the HLA 1500 54 inch pusher is the way to go. Sell an absolute boatload of these by far the most popular snow removal attachment for a John Deere 1025R. A great option to get some cheap ballast weight on the back end of your tractor is going to be a ballast box. Right now I currently recommend the one that you can find through a link on my website where you can go and buy manufacturer direct. It's a very versatile solution. I'm hoping to come out with a better version eventually but for now this is the best value out there.
Well, that's a wrap, guys. Again, if you want more information on these products, because we went over a lot, read through that description below. Most of this stuff will also be found on my website, goodworkstractors.com. I'd really appreciate getting a thumbs up to help out the video performance, and hit that subscribe button right down below as well if you want to follow along and get more tractor videos like this in your inbox. Thanks so much for taking the time to stop by. Until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.